um, one. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, like you said, uh, uh, if you want a full-size poster of me to put up in your bedroom, um, I'll have that made, and uh, you can put it in your bedroom like you want, a picture of me, because... Uh, wait. Hello. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, the forklift is dead. Guessing this one is the negative. So it looks like it goes right to a ground. Okay. Oh, not All right, go try and start it up. You do three jobs? Three railing and one sailing gay. Four. Four. So is this new number one? Number one, correct. Cleaning trucks today. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'll start sorting through this pile here. Why? I'll start sorting through this pile over here. I'll start sorting through this pile here. Why? I'll start sorting through this pile over here. I'll start sorting through this pile here. Cleaning the truck. You know, you got to go to a job with a clean truck. If you don't go to a job with a clean truck, it's like it's like being ass backwards. It's like electing Governor Cuomo as governor. Everything is ass backwards and doesn't work. If you have a clean truck, you could put up a fence quicker. You have everything you need. You're not looking for stuff. You know, you have everything you need right at your fingertips. You know, if you go on this side of the truck, you have everything you need to dig a hole. Um, you go on the other side, you have all your shovels are there, and everything is easy. You look in the back seat here, you have, you know, you have some junk in here, but at least it's organized junk, you know, all your junk is in, kind of in one place, it's not spread out all over the place, so you're not spending an hour sorting through garbage. And look, if you have a coffee cup on the floor, that's okay, nobody's going to kill you. You have two coffee cups, you're a slob, okay, because you should have thrown the first one out when you got the second one. There's no need to have two coffee cups. Why do you have two coffee cups on the floor? One coffee cup, that's all you need. One, right? Right? Just one cup, okay? If, if you have two, there's just something wrong with you. If you have three, you, you have mental problems. Just go work at Rose Fence or something, because you don't belong here in Natural Beauty. Uh, that's all I have to say about that. We really give a crap about how we clean our trucks. We want our trucks to be badass clean trucks. If you're gonna clean the trucks, you gotta clean it like a badass. Explain what the job is today. Where? What do you say? Where do this? Yeah, 
So Dennis sent me on an errand to Master Molding to pick up I can't find the list of what he needed. This is the kind of stuff that Dennis hates. Sends you somewhere, and on your way there, you lose the list. 346 minutes later. I got it. False alarm, we got it. All right, so he needs two five-inch New England caps, four four. I don't know if I'm actually gonna make a video out of this whole thing. I will see if anything dramatic happens between. All right, we're doing it. And it's gonna be crazy. What are those there for? Oh, we're making uh, videos. Huh? Yeah. Uh, perfect. Oh. Could I help you? Oh, I just parked in this one and said that one on accident. I know, now you're like setting up on our whole front yard. Oh no, I'm, I'm just putting these in my truck. Oh, alright, no problem. Yeah. Alright. No worries. I'm not filming any of you guys. I just wondered just what's going on. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> This is the exact drama we needed. Car is officially not working. It's not working, so we're gonna call Dennis. Just broke down. Um, see how he responds. This is the worst spot to break down to. We are right out of traffic light and the car just won't start. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. You have to go around me, I'm telling you. People are honking. I don't know if I'm actually gonna make a video out of this whole thing. Uh, we'll see if anything dramatic happens between. Oh, this is really bad news. Hey, the, the truck is completely broken down. It just won't start. Um, what do you mean completely broken down? I don't know, I think the battery died, but I'm like literally at a stoplight and the truck just won't move, won't start. Are you on your way there or are you way back? I'm on my way back. Um, I'm on the intersection of New Highway and Conklin Street. And did you put it in park? Yeah, now I did. It's not working. The battery just died off. Um. Yeah, the windows won't open. Nothing will work. If you, if you pop the hood and uh, hit the uh, battery a couple of times, the battery cables, uh, uh, you should be able to, uh, uh, the thing, you know, probably start. What do you mean, hit the battery? The, the, ba the battery cables. Uh, like hit it? Like punch it? <laughs> Broken down. Yes. Sorry. Uh, see if you can open up the hood first. Okay. Um, alright, I'm gonna Google it. How to fix your car when it breaks down in the middle of an intersection. Here's what I found. Stay in what are you there. Doing? Why? I need you to try it again. Okay. You can't do it out here.
Meanwhile, at the Krusty Krab. He can't get online? Apparently, there's some issue or something he said. Just well, we couldn't have him by tomorrow. Oh, we're not using it. Oh, we need it by Monday, right? Yeah. Put the camera. I don't know if I'm actually gonna make a video out of this whole thing. Uh, we'll see if anything dramatic happens between. Get the camera stuff away. We're done filming. Oh, no worries. This is gold. Bob, you think you have You're gonna pull those pieces. I'm staring through your window, looking up at the stars. Up at the stars. I'm caught inside a loop where I can get to your heart, get to your heart. Ooh, you're letting your fears take hold, let me take hold. What's up with the camera? You videoing this? Yeah, I was making a fence video, but it turned into this. Come on, you ready? Go! Neutral, let's go! Put your foot on the brake! Okay, Dennis and I switched places because I think he wants to scream at the car repairman because he just got it fixed yesterday and now it's broken again. Uh, so he wanted to stay and wait for them to show up. And he told me to go back to the shop with Liz who does not want to be filmed, That's but she's right. she's next to me. <laughs> $96. A 5x5x9 five by five by post with the cap is $30. And a 10 foot wide double driveway gate with the hardware is $750. $700? $750, yeah. It's the door, right? Yes, the okay. two of them together with the hardware. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. How's it going? Uh, Alright, well, we're headed back to the shop now. Yeah. We're about to pick up uh, the uh, chief operating officer and uh, chief financial officer of uh, National Beauty Fence. He's uh, dropped off his vehicle at the repair shop and we are about to pick him up. Oh, shit. Ed, we, made it, we made it to the, uh, to the place. Hey Hank. Hey Dennis. Thank you for coming to get me. Oh, uh, sure. My pleasure. Uh, yeah, somebody gave me a jump and it gave me enough juice to get off that street and onto the corner. Uh, so you, uh, didn't have to get, you didn't have to get towed? No, well, the guy came and uh, uh, we swapped out batteries, put in another battery. Okay. And then that got me here. Oh. But that battery was dying as we were getting here, so it's uh, probably the alternator. You know, you know, but it, when the check engine light goes on, the first thing I do is I pop the hood open and check and make sure the engine is still there. And then uh, after that, I'm pretty much well, there uh, you useless. Go. There you go. You know, That's so. the problem. People need to get back to basics. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the engine is there. I checked it. What else you want me to do? I'm not a mechanic. You know. Why don't you get the the other job? We're waiting for you. <laughs> did you see? Did you hear what happened? What happened? Dennis's truck broke down. What? One yeah, more time? He sent he sent me on an errand to pick <laughs> something up and it broke down. 
No good, huh? No. I'm gonna take this bucket. Ready to go. Adios. Adios, amigo.